I've done it. I don't need to run with those people. I don't. I believe that great. I don't need to run with those people. It's something I've done myself, and I did that at 22 years old. That's so I don't need your crowd, and I enjoy the way I've been running my operation, and I'm running something that, in my mind, is is doing incredibly well. So I'm in a situation that I don't need you to get over to come into my place and try to make a name for yourself. It's not something well, else then I, how about this? Now, if I you'd like to make an up. application, if you'd like to apply to Project MFC, at. if you'd like to apply to Project MFC and come into my place and maybe have a with, tryout with, match with, with and let what? your guys with demonstrate what? their Paper skills, if you'd, like, if you'd like your guys to demonstrate their skills and show themselves off and show me that they have what it takes to actually entertain and not just wrestle, then maybe we can talk, but you're going to have to do something like that, my friend, because I am not about wrestling. I am about an entertainment experience. And so I'm right there with you. The only so if you want to put your mouth, you if you want to take your mouth, if you want to your mouth and keep it open and pull the foot out of it, now I'll give you your rebuttal and your chance to make it, you know, make amends and see if you want to take this counter offer. You can have your two best guys come on to my show and put on an experience. And if they impress the crowd, they impress the crowd, and there you go. But you know what? You didn't train those guys, my friend. You didn't train those guys, my friend. Wait, 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 guys, my friend. All you're doing is riding on the coattails of other people, my friend. All you're not doing true. is taking the... Not true. No, my friend. ADD, ADD my friend. TV and My Lucha TV are not coattails. I started them from scratch. The most popular internet shows in SoCal, more popular than yours. The thing is, is that I don't deal with wrestlers. I deal with workers. So if you have any questions, the people I bring know how to entertain. And, and, and I deal with entertainers and performers. Because guess what? Let's let you want to go to that level. Six foot four, two hundred seventy-five pounds. Signed a developmental contract with WWE. Kyle Rasmussen spent a lot of personal time with them. Turned him into a guy who's going to honestly, in the next five years, become a major, major, major superstar. In and WWE. I hope he does. I, I, make I don't wish any ill will. But I look, make look at the superstar. picture you put up on Facebook of a guy's tooth on the ground. I don't want my boys hurt. Okay, my, my boys are, are legendary all over Mexico, all over Tijuana, all over New York, all over Chicago, and all over SoCal. So ready? Okay. We'll make it easy, man. I'll put you in the ring with one of my trainers, Bo Cooper. I mean, there you go. You, you, you want to you step you your guys? You're going to put an announcer in the ring with a wrestler. No, I'll, I'll, you're, I'll, you're put your boy. I'll put your boy. I'll put your boy. No, I'm not saying that. Okay, so let's go on my level. I've been on the announcing level lately. How about me and you? Okay. We do something. That sounds a little bit more interesting. Yeah, no, that's, what that's what I'm talking about. Say, is that what screw, you want? Screw, screw yeah. your guys who you're calling your guys who you have nothing to do with your guys. You're just finding two guys who you've had no influence on their career versus the fact Hulu that I've been involved in this whole thing. Nothing? Look, what, what, wait, 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 I, no, I, I didn't, I didn't call your guys angry. nothing. I, I didn't call your guys angry. nothing. I said you had nothing it, to do really with It's really tough guys. when you're born and you have to live at five foot three and you, you talk like Skippy from Family Ties. And I understand it's hard. And you really Dude, you're more like Bonar from Growing Pains, my friend. That's fine. But the thing is, the thing is, is that you've got talent, and I've got talent. I've got talent at a lot of things. And so how about you, K-Rock? Me versus you so in a ring and steel cage in a situation like that. I'm talking like about that. burying you on every level. How, Booking, how about me and you in a steel cage? Work, venue, draw, a, oh everything. Goodness. Oh, my goodness, please. Everything. Please. I don't, I, I don't, I, hey, I hey, 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 how about this? Ready? It's no hey, lie. Let me ask no you this. Let me ask you this. more than I can chew, but if you're going to talk. Hey, douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Hey, douchebag. Then I'm going to keep doing it, too, and I'm going to win. Why? Because I have a deeper you're voice. You're not going to win. Hey, douchebag. Who played Rey Mysterio in WWE's video game? Without having to pay for him. That's all i got to say. Who played Rey Mysterio in WWE's video game? Verbal to verbal. Was it was your guy? Was it your guy? It's your guy. No, it was me. It was me. Hey, hey, K. Ross, hang on, hang on. All right, uh, this has been awesome. Who's awesome, been in WWE's video awesome. game for the last five years? Me, me. You. Every year, hey. hired, called back. And, and, I direct and we'll laugh about that when I talk to Gangrel. <laughs> hey, okay, GQ, GQ, buddy. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not going to disrespect those guys because you can sit there and climb up their ass and lick it and tickle it and do everything you need to do, my friend, to get yourself ahead. I've been a self-made yeah, man without a lot of gay time. references from you, man. Did you ever suck a dick to get a match? What's going on with you, bro? Let's, that's let's the kind of thing that gay wrestling up. is supposed to be hetero. Hetero. <laughs> that's the kind of thing you dream up. Uh, dude, 
check my resume. Uh, if I've lived the life that right. people want, I don't want to check I, your I resume. I don't want to check your bank account. I want the mic. I want you to have a mic, and I will meet you in your ring. Like I said, when my schedule I'm not going to allow you in my gym. You're not working my gym. I don't want to have to deodorize. Now you don't want me in the ring. I don't want to deodorize and defunk it. I don't want to deal with it. No, I don't even get to go to you, you go, go set up a show and I'll come. Go show. back to the beginning. So Why did you mention my name in the first place? Because I was bored and I thought I'd freaking throw the heat onto a freaking guy who already had a ton of heat. Okay. Exactly. With that said, K Ross, just pipe down for a second and, and let me get out GQ's information one last time. Thanks for coming on. It's been awesome. Hey, good luck with the school and ho you know the promotions and, and your videos and everything. Make me a pro wrestler dot com. Is that right? K Ross, we're gonna talk by the end of this year, and you're gonna realize you're putting your foot in your mouth big time. <laughs> well, the time the time will tell, won't it? Yes, it will, my <laughs> friend. Yes, it will. <laughs> All right, GQ. Thanks a lot. Make me a pro wrestler Later, man. All right, thanks. <laughs> okay, K Ross. I hope you're hey. ready. Uh, are Are you ready, Daddy? Born ready now. 60 seconds with k -Ross, and now that the Chihuahua is gone, we can get to the important information. Number one, I would like to send a special shout-out to Mr. California. That man is a consummate professional. He shook the hand and got, the, got to know everybody that went to his show. It took him about 45 seconds. Number two, chaos. Chaos, chaos, chaos. Chaos is the trainer of Santino Bros. And I know that since you watched the video, and everybody knows that Famous B is the new Lucha Libre Internet Champion, we are trying to get a match between Chaos and Famous B, but Chaos is not returning my phone calls. So I figured I'd put it on blast and try and get it out there. Knox Pro was amazing. The chance to announce Rikishi was phenomenal. Uh, the Black Pearl, Gangrel, all the students who absolutely tore it up. None of them lost a tooth. It was an absolute phenomenal show, and unlike, you know, an experience, I can't believe he used the Knox Pro word. It, it's Universal Studios meets professional wrestling. If you live in the Southern California area, Knox Pro is the place to go and nowhere else. Sensei, you put me all over the flyer. GQ vs. Keros, one of the first big flyers I had on Awesome Bomb. Thank you so much. Not in a bit of a bad attitude because I got to live my dream this Saturday. I got to do something I've always wanted to do, and that's announce the international superstar and the most loved man on all six inhabitable continents. And that's uh, Kishi Fatu. We'll call him Junior Fatu. Um, around the Horn, NWA, next. Um, there's a lot of people crossing over from America to Lucha. And uh, although the, uh, some Mexican promoters and some Mexican people are having a problem with the, uh, the weddos coming in and taking control, I think it's a really good idea to cross-brand because SoCal is the only place where you can have American and Lucha at the same time. And if you're not taking advantage of that, you're really not. I'd like to thank two people that have really meant a lot to me real quick. Uh, number one, uh, first and foremost, uh, Kishi for giving me a shot. And number two, and this name is going to resound in SoCal, uh, Extreme Loco. Extreme Loco is a profound man. He's a beast, and when he teams with the Extreme Plague, they form the most dominant tag team in wrestling history, the Dogs of War, and you will see them maybe even at the Fit Pit if uh, little GQ Money gets his finger out of his ass. And that, my friends, is 60 Seconds with K-Ross with a Headache. Because <laughs> hey, hey, my head is fucking pounding after listening to that little chihuahua. <laughs> I made a thousand dollars. I had sixteen hundred people show up. I, 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 I. The guy says I a lot, doesn't he? Violence Jack, what did you think about that whole uh, scene? Oh, <laughs> hey, Violence Jack. <laughs> so you okay, so Violence Jack? Huh? Gay Ross, are you going? <laughs> Gay Ross, are you going to uh, do have a uh, tryout for uh, GQ Money? Why? I mean, well, he, he I just mean said, if, if, if this is what you guys want, um, I mean, I'm happy to appease you. But I do have a little piece of information that might find relevant uh, in SoCal <laughs> in a couple weeks on Lowdown Radio. Doink the clown! Actually, in SoCal, we're going to try and find him for you. Uh, Dang, we're going to try and look him up for you, though. You, you, get the, real. Uh, you get the Suburban Commandos out there for us. Take the care Suburban of Commandos, I would love to get out here, but boy, man, are they expensive. <laughs> they live in NorCal, so to get them down to SoCal, it's a pretty penny, but you know, they give a great show. And, and I remember the last match I saw 
the Young Bucks, before they went to TNA, was against the Commandos, and it was a match of the year candidate. But those are big guys, and we need someone to, you know, we need a couple of big guys to go ahead and double team Doink out in the parking lot. They don't even have to wrestle him, just, just beat him up. Sometimes. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Lalo Gonzalez, <laughs> uh, the announcer for e